So last April, I upgraded my great-grandfather's 1979 Craftsman Riding Lawnmower to run off propane because the carburetor was broken and we would spent six years working on it. And hey, you don't really have to have a working carburetor to run your engine off propane because you don't have to vaporize the gas. It's already a vapor. And so let's do a review of it. The reason I waited this long is because I wanted to use up the entire tank and it happened to be that the entire tank lasted the entire summer. This is probably going to be the last mow I'll need to do this year because it's 35 degrees right now. It's kind of cold. So in my original video, what did I do to make this thing run off propane? Well, really all I did was I added a shelf for the propane, which... Oh, <laughs> looks like the weld broke there. I'll have to fix that. But anyway, I added a shelf for the propane. And I added a regulator. Now this will go inside there. And that goes in here, and simply just goes right in where the where the fuel line goes in for the carburetor. That's really all I did. I just I put it in right where the gasoline is supposed to go in. So I got this fill, this tank refilled for fifteen dollars. Not bad at all. And the first thing we have to do is we have to put the tarp strap over it to hook it down, like that. Now it's all nice and sturdy on there. I'll just put that back up here. But now we have to connect the regulator to it, like that. Now it's all connected up and nice and sturdy. And now this regulator will take the 200, or I think it's 150 or 250 PSI of propane pressure inside of here, and it'll downgrade it to 0 0.3 PSI, so it won't blow any of the pipes or anything. It'll go down in here, and then it'll go in here directly into the carburetor. So what have I changed on this since my first video? Well, I was originally using this this car battery from 1992, and it didn't have much power. So I replaced that with an actual lawnmower battery that's meant to be in here. And hey, it works a lot better. I've also replaced the drive disc, which I made a video about that, and that works a lot better now. It doesn't slip and slide too much. But unfortunately, the starting mechanism doesn't work anymore. So I use this chisel and I reach down in here and I arc over the solenoid and that's how I start it. First I bleed the system and if I need to again I'll pop it open a little bit so I get a little a bit of propane in there so then I can arc over the solenoid like that but I do it two-handedly so I can start it and then I can add more propane to it and then I'll, I'll keep it going and then whenever I have it running I try to find it to where it'll run on the least amount of propane I only give it what it can what it can use at most anything after that is just a waste of propane
look at that. <laughs> look at all the frost on the uh, regulator. I've never driven this thing in such a cold weather, so I haven't seen frost on the regulator before. <laughs> now let's test the temperature of the muffler. 146C, 295 Fahrenheit. The fins on the head of the engine. 185, 185 Fahrenheit, 85C. Now a lot of people have taken interest into the spark plug because that's how you can tell if you're running the engine too lean or too rich. Hundred ten degrees Fahrenheit, fifty degrees Celsius. So that's what the spark plug looks like. It doesn't look half bad in my opinion. A lot of a lot of viewers were concerned that I would be having it too lean or too rich, but it turns out that it works out pretty nicely. So one of my main worries about running this lawnmower off of propane was it overheating because propane burns at a much higher temperature than gasoline. And well, it actually it hasn't overheated very much yet. It does get a little toasty during the summer, like the muffler gets to about 400 degrees and the fins gets about 230, 250 or so. But with it being freezing cold right now, it didn't get very hot at all. I could actually touch most of the parts usually, except for the muffler. The muffler always gets extremely hot. Oh, I just realized. I think the oil in here is the same oil my great-grandfather put in here before he died. <laughs> I haven't even re refilled or checked the oil really ever since. Yeah, it needs a little oil. Probably do an oil change on it. It might be a good idea since the oil is probably at least about eight years old. So in conclusion, this lawnmower propane conversion has worked out splendidly. I like it, like it a lot. And the thing is, this entire propane tank cost me $15 in propane, and I've more than made that back by mowing the neighbor's lawn for a buck and a half, or two dollars per mow. So he doesn't care because he doesn't want to mow his lawn, and I get the money, and I've made about three dollars off of it so far. And now that the winter is coming up, I'll put a tarp over the whole thing like usual, but I'll take the battery out. I'll put it onto my off-grid battery system so it'll keep it desulfated and, and, and in tip-top uh, tip shape. And then I'll have the propane tank, which I can use for my Bunsen burner and stuff like that. And um, a forge project. I'm going to hope to melt, uh, cast and melt a al aluminium later on. So that'd be kind of a fun project. But either way, I'm really, really pleased with, my, with this entire lawnmower. And it mows the lawn quite nicely. It's, very, it's a very relaxing but loud experience. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See ya!